Okay, so welcome back. Uh, it's Boyan here. I'm gonna run through the process of installing handy drums. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Studio Standard, but the procedure is the same for any other handy drums plugin. Now, if you haven't seen uh, the video for how to download, uh, I'm gonna leave a link below so you can click on it and you can watch that. Now, so we've made sure uh, in the previous video that we've got the .exe file. I'm using Windows, Windows 10 for, for this uh, in demonstration. We'll do a different one for uh, Mac. Uh, so for now, okay, so you click on it, double click and it says, do you want to blah, 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 blah. Yes, I do. Uh, and then is basically giving you all the um, information here. So it'll allow you to install VST2 or 3 or AAX formats as well as standalone, sample library and MIDI demo. Uh, I'm going to use VST3 because I'm using Cubase and it will be the same for say Nuendo, I think FL Studio, Studio One, Ableton probably, and lots, lo loads more. So you need to check your own DAW to see which version you need. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go for VST3. Uh, whether you choose VST2 or 3, that's uh, uh, up to you. I'll uh, just, okay, I'll, uh, I'll accept this. It's up to you because um, VST3 is probably a better option if your DAW supports it. I'm going to tick that. Uh, VST2 I don't need. AX I don't need because I don't use Pro Tools. 64-bit uh, standalone uh, app. I will need that um, because we want to be able to use it directly from Windows, not just from DAW. Uh, sample library, we definitely need that. And a MIDI demo, that's just a little free gift. Uh, so you have a sample of uh, a MIDI beat, which you can then connect. Uh, VST3 will be used by DAW, standalone is if you want to use it with your eDrum or you just want to test it. Uh, there are two separate programs. So I suggest doing both so then we can troubleshoot. And if you have any problems, it's a lot easier for us. Now, destination folder for VST3, uh, for me, it comes up as this default uh, folder uh, place. It's uh, It works for me. It's Cubase. So I wouldn't change this unless you've done something different on your computer. Let it go to default and it will work. For the sample library, I'm also going to use the uh, default C drive uh, program files. Keep in mind that the installer will actually make its own um, folders, uh, Goran Grooves slash Handy Drums, so you don't have to uh, select any special folder other than just program files. And if you install multiple um, Handy Drums, you always just select the same program files and it will find the correct folders and do the, all the right hierarchy. So uh, I'm just going to click Next and let that do its thing. Uh, I've already installed this, so I'm just basically overdoing it. So yeah, I'm just going to overwrite all of it, but it works the same if you're installing it the first time. It's going to extract all of the files, all of the uh, samples and everything, and it'll come up with this. You can either click on the link or when you click close, it will open the little tutorials knowledge base uh, page, which is basically kind of the same stuff I'm running you through through here. But it's very useful. So if, if I've skipped something or if you you know want to have it in text format, you can do all of this again uh, on the website. And it, if you're ever in doubt, it's here. Support tutorials. Very useful uh, information there. Now, now that we've done that, let's uh, check how this uh, thing looks. So I'm going to start the uh, standalone version first. So I'm not using the AW. Just going to start my standalone version. Uh, um, let's see. Okay, here we go. It works. Kick, snare, tom, they're all there. Okay, if it works for one, it should work for all of them. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, you click the settings little thing here and you want to check what your driver is. By default, it should probably go to Windows Audio. Uh, I'm using ASIO driver for myself and obviously I'm using a virtual voice meter right now. So, you know, you might, you might want to select your own ASIO driver or whatever your sound card is, if it's uh, connected, you can do that. Uh, for me, it's going to be this for now. And uh, and then we'll just, uh, OK, so that works. So we can close the uh, standalone version. Let's uh, have a look in the, inside of the DAW, say. Uh, I'm going to try Cubase 12. So start up my Cubase. And let's see. Um, so it takes a little while to scan. OK. so. OK, let's create a new empty folder uh, project, I mean. Yeah, that's fine. So 
in order to load the uh, plugin, the VST3 plugin, we need to create a track. In Cubase, it's called an instrument track. In your DAW, it might be called a virtual instrument or VST or virtu VI track. But for me, it's, virtu it's this instrument track, okay? Uh, there's another way to use it in Cubase, but we'll run uh, the use uh, things in another video. So I'll just call it Studio Drums, for example. And I'll add the track, and it should pop up, okay? Here it is. Let's see if it works. Yeah. There we go. So there you go. Uh, that's it for the installation. Uh, now, if there are any issues with the installation, uh, run through this video again or through the tutorial. Um, and um, yeah, if this was useful, click like, subscribe, uh, get some studio drums, get some handy drums, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.